time to time. If we're using a salicylic acid, do we need to use another exfoliant? No, I mean, the hype around exfoliating, you know, it doesn't apply to everyone. And a basic skincare routine of just a gentle cleanser, a moisturizer, and sunscreen, it will help support your skin's natural turnover process by helping to improve the water content of the stratum corneum. That allows for the skin to turn over. It's when it gets dry, the cells become, you know, kind of stuck together and heaped up. That's really where you get rough, uneven texture. And sure, that's more likely to occur in certain dry skin conditions and with age. And then of course with acne prone skin, the skin is more prone to uh, clogging in the pores, not turning over well. So in those situations, you benefit from an exfoliant. Um, but you know, adding more is not gonna be right for everyone. I mean, a basic salicylic acid cleanser, which I'm using here, um, I'm getting the benefits of salicylic acid to help dissolve the glue between those sticky skin cells. And that's gonna help smooth out skin texture. It's gonna help with hyperpigmentation and it's gonna help with improving the appearance of pores. You know, some people may find that it's beneficial to add like a glycolic acid exfoliant, uh, you know, but you certainly can run into a situation quite easily, I might add, with skincare products where you overdo it when it comes to exfoliating and there are diminishing returns. I mean, too much exfoliating ends up drying out the skin, causing a lot of irritation, and ultimately that's gonna worsen hyperpigmentation. So, you know, stay conservative, less is more. Just take acne, for example, the treatment of acne. It doesn't involve layer, you know, adding more exfoliants. It's usually a combination, a combination therapy of a retinoid and some sort of topical anti-inflammatory, whether that be a topical antibiotic or, you know, benzoyl peroxide, which is antimicrobial, topical dapsone, and salicylic acid is an exfoliant that certainly can help smooth out the skin texture, help with skin cell turnover. But if the acne is not improving, the go-to is not to just add another exfoliant to get, you know, it's this, this idea that, you know, going up on something is gonna get better results. It's not often the case. We are in the midst of a cold snap here. I'm gonna to have to dig out something warm to wear for today. So today I'm gonna to take down my Christmas decorations. I'm also going to go to Sam's Club today. I'm not a member there, but I just kinda of wanna go in the warehouse and look around, see what they have. And if I'm able to do that, then I'll check out the skincare section in Sam's Club and film a little skincare review in there for you guys. Comment below, are you a Sam's Club shopper or a Costco shopper? I know a lot of you guys are Costco. Do you do both? <laughs> I just want to check it out. See how it compares to Costco, although I'll never abandon Costco. I just put on some moisturizer. It's pretty much dry. I'm going to come in with the Avan Intense Protect again. I'm here in Sam's Club because I just wanted to check it out. Um, they let me in to just peruse. This is Nature Well Vitamin C Brightening Moisture Cream. It has ascorbic acid and ascorbyl tetraisopalmitate. So the ascorbic acid is difficult to stabilize and formulate in such a way that it actually gets in the skin, um, but it can act like an antioxidant at least. This does have fragrance in it. I have a big tub of CeraVe here, but that is not that good of a deal. $14.48 for 19 ounces. I feel like it's a two pack that you get at Costco. Here we have a three in one ultimate care. Cleans, hydrates, and keeps hands softened. Is this a hand soap? Yeah, Safeguard scented hand soaps. By and large, the thing about hand washing is more about the amount of time you spend rubbing the hands together than the actual cleanser you use, honestly, because antibacterial, antimicrobial soaps, outside of the outside of the hospital and medical setting, they're really not helpful. Okay, so this has retinyl palmitate, which is an antioxidant. See, but at least they're not claiming that this is a retinol cream, which a lot of companies will do which I think is kind of 
misleading because retinyl palmitate, it's a retinyl ester. It doesn't behave like retinol on the skin. Coconut oil, it's moisturizing but causes acne flares for some. $9.98, that is not a good deal. Go to, go to Kroger instead and get yourself the Aquation body moisturizer. It's like $7.98, $8, the hyaluronic acid one or the collagen cream or their retinol cream, free of fragrance. I've been really impressed with Derma Geek. They have a 3.5% niacinamide facial moisturizer. It also has sodium hyaluronate, free of fragrance. This is a good basic no-nonsense facial moisturizer. But I feel like $30 is not that great of a deal. Okay, so far I don't think the skincare at Sam's is such a good deal. Purity made simple. When I was first started on YouTube, this was like philosophy. Yeah, people were all about this philosophy stuff. And I've never actually used the cleansers. But they all have fragrance in them. You can get the Estee Lauder Advanced Night Repair Eye Concentrate Matrix for $38.91. Originally $54.98. Wow. I don't know what's in that. It's kind of hiding. And there are the obligatory Olay Retinol Moisturizers there. People are always raving about Kiehl's. This is a chemical sunscreen. I'm not sure if it has fragrance in it or not. A lot of Kiehl's products do. OGX scrub and wash. It's got coffee in it. Coffee scrub. I don't know. It's just irritating. <laughs> uh, probably help, maybe helpful for keratosis pilaris, but then, you know, body washes, they can also be drying at the same time. This one has cocomidal purple betaine. That's a mild surfactant. So it's probably okay. Yeah, last weekend I was pointing out again how hypoallergenic is just kind of a marketing term. Uh, like this Dove Sensitive Skin Hypoallergenic. This is a pretty decent body wash, but don't be misled. It's hypoallergenic, but it does have fragrance in it, which is the most, one of the most common allergens in personal care products. So it's, it's pretty misleading to, to call this hypoallergenic. It's just nebulous. And it's a sensitive skin hypoallergenic. Now, their Beauty Bar, the Sensitive Skin Fragrance Free Beauty Bar, this is actually pretty good too. I mean, they're both fine if you're not allergic to fragrance, but this one actually doesn't have fragrance and you can use it on the face. Love that sound, this new lighter I got makes. And today the Christmas is coming down, sadly. I went ahead and cleared off my credenza and it looks so naked. Once I get everything taken down, I'm gonna do a good cleaning. It'll be back next year, so <laughs> no need to get sad about right, it. Guys, laundry is going and I'm gonna make my slow cooker apple sauce, chunky apples, whatever you wanna call it. I, I've got three pounds of gala apples that I washed and dried and I'm just gonna core and slice them, put them in my slow cooker. This knife, by the way, this is my Misen knife that I got, was it about a month ago? I am loving this thing. In the past few months. Yeah, I've been really happy with this Misen knife. Anyways, I just core out with a melon baller. I just find that it's the most efficient way to do it. A splash of the Italian volcano. I get this at Costco. And yes, of course, you can use freshly squeezed lemon juice, but don't sleep on the Italian volcano. This is this is delightful, I have to say. And I think it would be really good if you got like some seltzer water and made like a little lemon spritz or something. It's really good. And I just store it in the fridge. Anyways, um, 40 lemons in every bottle. I just do a little splash. Cause I don't want, I don't want it to be too soupy. I want it to be thick and chunky. And then I do a liberal dusting of cinnamon. And I'm gonna do some ground ginger this time too. 
Why not? Sometimes I throw dried fruits in here too, like raisins. Slow cook. I'm just gonna do the medium setting. And I just let it go until it's my desired doneness. Sometimes I like them, you know, a little firm, chunky, but sometimes I just let it go for a really long time and it gets like super apple saucy. Well, the Christmas is all put away. Looks kind of naked in here, but I'm ready for a clean slate and it'll be back next year. I'm gonna make a cup of this fermented black tea from Peak, it's pretty good. I also recently got this on iHerb and it is delicious. The true blueberry tea from Celestial Seasonings. I got two boxes. I like to brew a big mug of this and sweeten it with, wait till you hear this winning combo. I like to put a few drops of this better stevia dark chocolate in the blueberry tea. It is delicious. This would also be really good iced, I think. So it'll be a good transition to warm weather. Who am I kidding? It's in Houston, transition to warm weather is basically the two days of cold weather being over. <laughs> and then we're back to warm weather. Like these clear mugs that a viewer sent me, I've been loving. They are the same brand as my French press Badoom or Bottom. Is it Badoom or is it Bottom? Comment below or is it Badum? Badum Badum. It sounds like it sounds like a Missy Elliott song. Badoom? I'm gonna say Badoom because I don't know why that's making me laugh. It just sounds funny. Badoom. <laughs> Oh, you guys, I don't know. Some words just sound funny when you think about them. If you're, especially if you're tired, which I'm not, I slept like a rock last night. I got my full eight hours, according to my little watch, which is like, you know when you're a child and you do so many good deeds, you get these like star stickers on a little sheet and at the end of the week, if you have so many stars, you get to go over to like, a bucket and pick out a plastic rhinoceros. Well, nowadays as an adult, my watch is the version of that. Only instead of a rhinoceros, I get, I don't know, another cup of tea. One thing I've noticed about these uh, better stevia drops, I think it's because they have glycerin in them. But if you put them in a beverage and you put it in your frother or you use like the handheld battery operated frothers, something about I guess because of the glycerin, it actually generates a foam, which is nice. <laughs> I'll show you guys. Um, I wasn't planning to put stevia in this black tea, but I'm gonna do it so you guys can see what I'm talking about. Where's my plastic rhinoceros for all that I do in life? These peak tea crystals, you technically you don't need to use like a frother or anything. It, they, they'll dissolve instantly, but so you guys can see what I'm talking about. See what I mean about that foam? Now, if you put milk, like almond milk, and these drops, it really gets like frothy foamy. If you didn't know any better, you might say this is coffee. Okay, my slow cooker applesauce is just cooling here. See, I like it nice and chunky, but these are those same Pyrex food storage containers that I shared with you guys last week. Except last weekend I shared with you the casserole size. These are the little individual ones. They come in a pack of three. I just love them um, for food prep. All right, update on Sam's Club. <laughs> I went through it. I went through all of the like grocery sections. And here's the thing. I love Costco, but I think if I didn't have Costco, I definitely would be a Sam's Club member. But in comparing and contrasting, the final decision was, I'm just gonna stick with Costco. There were a lot of things at Sam's, however, that are significantly less expensive. And there were some things at Sam's Club that I would love to buy on a regular basis. Namely, they have this coleslaw mix in a bag that is a steal. It's like $1.79 for this huge bag. So that was one that I thought, oh yeah, I would definitely be buying this. However, there were some things that I did not see at Sam's that I buy a lot at Costco. And at the end of the, at the, end of the day, I could not justify another membership for basically that coleslaw mix is what it, 
boil down to as the main difference and, and some savings on items. But I would say as far as distance from me, Sam's Club is not that far, but it's about as out of the way as Costco is. And it's as out of the way in the opposite direction. So that was another thing. However, towards the latter half of 2021 and continuing now, I find myself going to Costco less and less for a few reasons. First of all, the traffic has gotten insane in the membrane in that area because are going there because of this nightmare construction that I don't think is ever gonna end. And it just takes forever. I mean, you'll just be sitting there, not going anywhere for a long time. And my time is too precious for that kind of life. Whereas actually going to going to Sam's takes about the same amount of time as going to Costco used to take me. So anyways, um, but yeah, I haven't really been going to Sam, I haven't really been going to Costco that much for that reason. And I don't know if it's because of the shortages, I find they're not like stocking stuff. A lot of the produce is not as fresh as it once was. And you know, I don't know. I, I would like to think that's just kind of a temporary thing. And I just find they're not getting as cool of new stuff. So I haven't been going lately. But beyond the actual in warehouse shopping, Costco has so many great perks that I cannot see myself going without Costco. Like the car rental, vac their vacation packages, not that I'm taking a vacation anytime soon, but their vacation pra packages are really a good deal. One thing I noticed a striking difference is in the skincare in Sam's Club is not, at least today, I mean, warehouse, inventory varies a lot. But the inventory in Sam's Club, I did, was not that impressed with in comparison to Costco. Like Costco will get a lot more high-end kind of skincare products, you know, and I mean, not that I'm buying that, but just for those of you who are, who are interested in the skincare stuff, I find that Costco has much more like kind of high-end skincare and better deals. Like the CeraVe at Sam's Club was no deal. I mean, the CeraVe at Sam's Club was not any better than just like buying at a Walmart. I mean, they're owned by the same, you know, Waltons or whatever. Um, so yeah, I don't know. Um, but I think if I were somebody who shopped at Walmart for like groceries a lot more, then I would just hit up the Sam's Club and become a member there. I actually like shopping for groceries at Walmart. For a while I was doing the grocery cart delivery from Walmart. Anyways guys, I'm gonna wrap up this vlog here. I hope you all enjoyed it. If so, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and as always, don't forget, sunscreen and subscribe. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye.